Hey, it's Storytelling Ron. Did you like that video? Cool little video? Huh? That's my cool widescreen TV. Uh, let me show you a picture of it here. This is a close up. I'll come back to that. Here's my setup. It's pretty sweet um, for my table now. I, I'll, I'll do more videos on this. I just want to do a little pictorial. Um, as you can see, this is uh, the picture of, of, of the screen screen I got it's funny uh, I just I had some time I was waiting for my daughter so I drove around this area and there was a Kmart and uh, no, it was a Walmart it was a Walmart sorry and uh, I just went in there to, to look for like gym equipment see what they had maybe something crazy on sale it was all pretty expensive I was kind of surprised and not very much but then <laughs> I saw these all these widescreen TVs I'm like I don't know. I just, you know, I've already got a widescreen and I didn't really think about it, but I was thinking about it for D&D. I was seriously thinking about getting a widescreen for D&D because, because, you know, I'm looking at all the print, the doing printables, um, and I'll do, I should do a video on that too. I have some that are really nice, but they're expensive, you know, to get printed. And um, like it was 50 bucks to get a set for one location or, or usage, you know, type of thing. It's 50 bucks. This widescreen is 200 bucks. $200 for this. And look, I just placed it on the table. I wasn't even sure if I was going to use it or not. Just place it on the table. You got two cat cables coming out, the HDMI and the power cable. That's it. 200 bucks for this is a 4K. And it's and you know, you want to get kind of a smaller size. I think there's a 43 inch or something. That's that's big enough. Trust me. 40, you know. And so I'm going to just explain a little bit about I really really enjoy this. Um I got I also this was funny. I bought this acrylic cover just to give it a little extra protection. That was 60 bucks. I mean, the TV is like the cheapest things on this table right, right here. Practically, you know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. 400 bucks. It's cheaper than a phone. That's that's how amazing this is. Um, so I really enjoy it. I'm really having fun with this. There's I'm doing the family thing here with my daughters and my wife. Uh, they really like it too, I think. I don't know. But... Um, and I got these, these are from Amazon, the little, you know, the reason I got these ones too, uh, little button up ones, snap on ones, fold it, is just, it's just easier to store. I got two wooden ones that are really nice. I really like them. But again, they're clunky and they're hard. You know, you can't, you're not going to be able to carry them around anywhere. And these ones, you can, they're flat, you know. Um, they're, rolling in them is okay. It's a little, it's a little less exciting than the wood clacking, but, you know, just just for pulling them out and throwing them on the table for all, everybody. Uh, I do like that feel of it. Anyway, that, that feel of it. Oh, these are my cool dice. I have a really nice setup I like. I'm a, I have another picture of it, but I'll just explain. I have a bunch of 20 sides, and they're different colors to represent. I think there's a green one in there, like a goblin-y one. Uh, the gold one is more like treasures and gold dragons or anything kind of goldy. Uh, the purple one is, to me, more magical. The red one is more... Anything bloody or scary or red, whatever. And then I have a sort of a grayish black one for uh, tough guys or whatever. You know what I mean? I, I kind of, and then the black one's just a black one. And I kind of have that as like my feel when I roll, when I pick a 20, I literally want to pick one that sort of feels the theme of the, whatever I'm doing. I also have um, <clears throat> a nice set of four, four four-sided, I believe. I might, I might be missing one because I think I lost one, but whatever. Four eight-sided. You always need a bunch of eight-sides, eight, eight, D8s, right, for, um, for just magic or damage or something you always need a bunch of d8s four d6s um i think a couple of d12s or one d12 i don't use d10s in the percentile die i don't use those because you just need two d20s you know one's tens and one's uh ones i just i don't even like the d i don't like the percentile die in in the sets i just get i get rid of them i just feel like they take up room you don't really need them because you can use just use the d20 as your as your d10 or as your uh, D D10 D percentile and D in and, and you know D10, so I just like to be a little efficient in that sense. Okay, so anyway, so the widescreen it's really cool. I'm gonna explain what I do here. Obviously, I got the HDMI plugged into here. I got the laptop and the TV off to the side the cable for the power. Again, I just pull. I kept the box with the styrofoam. It's behind the couch, that's against the wall. We have a little lounge couch in the, in the dining room. I just got to hide it back there, so it's pretty convenient. I, I mean, I literally could use this, which I should, in my room or something, or or, or my computer. I, I I should just have it here for my computer, which I'm not. But I just uh, but I need to screw in the stands 
which is kind of a bummer because then you know each time I want to use it on the table, I'd have to unscrew uh, the stands, and that would wear out the uh, the threads, I'm sure, at some point. So I'd have to figure out a better way of doing that, which is sort of some sort of snap on or something. Um, so there's that issue too. So I just like just using it for that, and that's it. That's fine by me. Um, and this is a 4K laptop. The so this got pretty good power um, just from Costco. I got this for 700. I, this is 700. This is 400. But I bought this for other you know usages usages uses uses. Okay, so of course I'm drinking my wine. Um, you got to have a good wine, not a cheap wine. Okay, so let me just show you what I do. As you can see, um, as you can see here, I'd go back. I obviously I've got my little drawn chasm and tunnel. They're going down. Um, so they have a. Um, these are my. By the way, I write a book series called The Evermire Conquest of the Evermire. And these are the characters uh, in it, and this is my, and I yes I write the book based on the, these adventures. So this is the um, the elf mage Royale, and then Ender is her sort of adopted human brother Ranger, and then of course they have the pet ogre, and this is um, a half orc barbarian that's coming along for the ride. So they're going they've crossed this this uh, pathway, and then some they got some dwarves that are back back here in the. Anyway, that, that helped them build a little bridge and went across. So that's cool, a little uh, social socializing. But anyway, so I do have, as you can see, uh, my own, uh, what do you call it, lighting or whatever. That, you know, I'll explain that. So here in the laptop, I have, um, let me go through it all and then I'll explain that. I am going to explain, explain it. I am going to explain how I do this. I just want to go through the pictures real quick because I have another setup. So here's another, they've, they've gone through that area. And I revealed um, this is actually a tunnel that going down into the depths. Uh, an Umber Hulk made the Umber Hulk made this tunnel, but but there's revealed this ancient stairway to a, um, a dungeon under the fortress that they're staying at. Uh, I hope I'm not ruining the story for you guys for the, my book series. Whatever. Okay, so uh, and the Umber Hulk avoided it because it had a, a fear spell on it, a ward, but they um, they wasted three. Um, uh, inspirations to save the state, which they didn't really have to, but they did. Just to just to uh, resist that uh, fear fear ward and then get in. And here they're fighting some whites that they encountered that have been, you know, obviously uh, entombed in there, and uh, they haven't finished looking through it all. But as you can see, I'm basically using an eraser on this on a layer above the drawing to reveal as they progress. And yes, I scroll the map on the uh, screen here. And of course, I got to move all the little cutouts um, accordingly. <clears throat> Here's a little close up of it. And I, as I, I'm drawing, uh, I'm trying to keep it simple and, you know, a little bit of shade just to differentiate the solid from the opening and stuff. And I'll explain the grid thing too here in a sec. Uh, here's more of my setup. It's pretty fun. It's, see how kind of simple it is? Because I actually have most of um, what I need on, on, on here. I have InDesign open as well. I use Adobe InDesign to, to prepare my stuff. And I generally like to write all, even my monster stats and my NPCs in short form. Um, I generally put them all in. So I'm drinking coffee and doing my little morning burps. I put them all uh, on on there, so I like to have everything kind of just in one one area, and it also helps because I write my stories based on it. So I have a diary, journal, or log, or whatever of all that happened, and then all the NPCs and, and, and stuff. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay, so that's it for this. Uh, yep. And let me go a little close up. Let me show you now. Um, this is the the actual place that they're doing. And I want to show you, so they, as you can see, they, they went through here and then, um, you know, all this. So I made it like a simple thing where they had to, you know, cross a chasm. Then over here was like a big, really rough terrain. They had to get, get over and, you know, trip or fall or whatever. Um, just simple stuff. No encounters because they already um, dealt with the Umberhawk previously. And then, of course, they had to deal with this and then they had to fight in here. And that's as far as they got in this episode. Um, well, they fought a couple of groupings of whites that came out like came out from here and came out from over here and so what i did is i had i, I made a copy of this is just a jpeg so i had two oh, let me show you that picture i had two um versions of it up on my setup yeah i had two versions of it up this one is um 
the probably the layered one so I could see everything. And then I had another window over here. I dragged it over to the second screen and then had that with, as you can see here, two layers, the, 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 the JPEG of this, this and then the uh, layer above it that's just black, right? And then, of course, I, as soon as they see something, I carry it with my mouse here. I have to, ooh, 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 you know, I'm not still not, you know, still not agile with, with sitting here and then looking at it um, and then uh, erase, uh, erasing it along. Now, I do, it is a little high for me. So I, uh, the last game I played, I used a stool to sit up a little higher to see it. You know, because I see a lot of the, or, or there's only a handful of these on the, on YouTube that I've seen, and they always lower lower it down on the table, which makes sense. But I, I'm not gonna, I don't think my wife's gonna let me cut a hole through our thick uh, uh, table here. Or okay, so uh, let me go back to this, and I'll show you. Obviously, I make a layer above, not not in this one, but in the JPEG, where I just fill it with black, just to show you and have fun. Yeah. And then you know have uh, my big eraser, you know, just, uh, boom. Oh, I, I didn't do it this way. I should do it more, ooh, yeah, more like that. I had it more of the solid, you know, um, more like this. Yeah, I had it more like that. But that's cool. I like the uh, the uh, the softer edges. Ooh, yeah. So when they, you know, show up at somewhere. And then, of course, they, they went through and went through all this. Um, Another thing, um, so what's really cool is you can make your, look how big my map is, you know, you can make, I have bigger ones too I'm working on, and and they're really a lot of fun, and and obviously you got to do, and you don't even have to do like 16 by 9 ratio, because you're just going to scroll this, you know, and you can use GIMP by the way, GIMP has very similar tools, but imagine this was the actual screen, well, since I have the laptop, right, and then I have the, the TV, the, the Adobe Photoshop is on my little laptop, and then I can I can um, take this window and move it over to the to the screen, and I can fill up that screen with just this. So that's really cool. I do have obviously you can see here a, a lighter grid. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube, but I don't. You know what? You don't need that. You don't need. I did make it. You had to go through. I had to go to YouTube and tutorial on how to make your grids. It's weird that you can't just make one. You know, it's really weird. You can't just make one. I don't know. Maybe you can. I just can't. I haven't found that tutorial. You have to do a process of making whatever. Okay. But probably the reason is that you can make a grid on YouTube or on uh, Photoshop. And I'll just show you how. And this grid obviously is one inch by one inch, my scale. And it's pretty, and you can change the colors on it, the tone of it. Um, so basically under edit, preferences, uh, guides, guides, grids, and blah, blah, blah. You can see your grid. So you just, you can do a custom uh, color. You can choose the color. You can do even dotted, yeah, like that. And of course, you do one inch and subdivision one, which makes you know makes it like that. So that's really cool. And then of course, under uh, view, yeah, ext extras or show, you can show the grid or turn it off. See, obviously, I like to show the grid so that we all know there are our measurements. And that's really cool. Um, and so that's what I use now. And so whenever I get like a battle map or an image, I will not use grids. I will turn, get the no grid one. I've got a few different things I've purchased off of like DMs Guild. I'm using. I'm kind of cut and pasting and mixing them all up and stuff for whatever I need. Or I'll draw it myself. I'm gonna try to draw more, but but obviously I'm not gonna do that kind of artwork. You know, with the renderings and the CG renderings that some of them have, they're really great. And I'll show them to you um, in another video. But I really enjoy doing this. And uh, I mean, this is it's time consuming, but it's fun. And of course, as you can see, I'm drawing as fast as I can because I, you know, I just want to kind of get it all done. But, but I hope to do more like this and just get a little, little better each time with my scribbles. Um, and th so this is a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. And I just wanted to show you guys, you know, how I think the future is the widescreen TV. And there's going to be a lot more products that I'm pretty excited about. And I've seen some on online. I'll probably have to start researching more. Um, now that I have the widescreen TV and I'm really enjoying it and it's much cheaper. It really is. I mean, if you think about it, you know, I, you, obviously you can take this on the road. Um, if you go anywhere and do it, you, you know, I still will use the fold out type of, um, with the dry erase, which is fine, you know, but at home man, and with this little setup, it was really, really neat. You can, and oddly, you know, you can even play your YouTube likes, like the sound score th through it as well. It kind of comes out of the TV, you know? You could do that um, if you want, which is really cool. 
Um, what else? It's just, yeah, I really, really like this. It lights up the, the room a bit, gives you good ambiance. And I have some other really great stuff I'll show in the next video. But I think this is just a primer of what I'm doing um, on the screen. Really, really enjoy this. I really like this. I'm really excited. It's like a, almost another sort of new level of playing, which is a lot of fun. And Oh, let me show the cutouts real quick. Just to give you a sense of what... Do I even... Where are they? So these little cutouts, as you can see, is the way I do it. It's just easier. These, this one's off the internet. I don't I just you know, did a search. This one I drew myself, and then these are uh, this, this is the back side of them, the black and white side. And these are the original art from the cover uh, 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 of my book, the characters. So that's what, and these are cutouts. And I, I, I the reason I do this kind of thing cutouts and i'll explain it more later is that i just get a lot of them you know and i don't want to you know I, I generally have a lot when i do an adventure i will have a 20 30 40 of them and i just don't want to sit there and you know i just want to get them ready and have them and they and they work just fine uh but i'll show more of that too i, I do have a paper mini one anyway I just keep babbling because I, I enjoy talking about it and i'm a writer and i just sit here quietly all day long so i thought i'd start talking to the camera but also share what I do. And, and, I, and, and I have found YouTube so enjoyable as far as other people sharing their D&D, you know, what they've learned, what they use. It's really, I really enjoy watching them. So that's why I'm doing these videos as well, to share back, uh, hopefully. All right, that's it for this one.